Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. Welcome back to Fix It and Post. My name is Nick. Today we are going to animate this character talking to you. Yes, we're going to get into lip syncing. We're going to get into mouth shapes. We're going to animate it all. And it's really easy now in After Effects uh, CC 2019, 2020. So without further ado, let's get started. First up, we're going to import this Photoshop file that I created earlier. If you need help creating your character, you can watch this tutorial here that I've also created to help you design your character and the different parts that you may need. So this character example here, we're going to import that Photoshop file and we're going to go composition and go OK. So let's have a look inside this character Photoshop file that we have just imported. Now he looks very happy, sure. Um, we're just going to turn off, we're going to go and turn off the hand and uh, the hands and the mouth layer first. And we'll just turn off this layer. Um, we're gonna rename some of these layers. We'll call this one Blink. Oh, it's already actually named it all for us. So um, there you go. It's actually called Blink, So, which is what it's supposed to be. So there's a Blink layer. So the, the parts that I would probably suggest creating, so this is just the, the top half of the torso with a head and the head doesn't move. It's just all one piece. Um, you could probably, I would probably, if I did this again, I'd probably just make the neck section and the head section separate just to give you a little bit of mobility with the, the talking and actually will add a lot of flexibility to your shot, but we don't need that for today. We've got a blink layer. Um, this is just, as you can see, it's just colored, poorly colored circles with uh, two lines drawn in just to give us the blink. Um, we've got the arm layer and that is just, you know, that. Um, and then we've got a whole bunch of hand layers. So let's have a look in here. So in here we have three shapes. We've got the open shape, open hand shape. We've got the palm down shape and we've got the point shape. Now, if we go into the mouth shape layer, we've actually got a few shapes here. We've got the neutral, we've got the smile. We've got the, uh, this A, E smile, uh, the E sound, the O sound the TH sound, the F sound, the W sound, and the smile. Now, this is all based off the phonemes chart. Um, as you can see, I've got them all stacked on one on top of each other, and I'll show you how we're gonna use, we're gonna leverage that in a second. But before we get to that, I'll just show you all the mouse shapes that you'll probably need for this. So take a second, pause the screen, draw the shapes that you need to draw from. Um, these essentially are the shapes that correspond to the particular sounds that most people will make. It's not a comprehensive list by any means, but it will, in my opinion, it kind of gets you like 99% of the way there. There are probably, if you're a real stickler for uh, lip syncing, this is probably not enough. But in my opinion, for most of the stuff that you're going to do, this will be more than fine. Um, you can probably have a variation on the O sound here and maybe a wider O. Um, there definitely could be variations on this shape here with this many vowels. Um, but I reckon you'll get through with most of this stuff. So... Um, yeah, so I would suggest creating at least these nine shapes um, as separate layers, which I have done here. So these are basically those nine shapes stacked on top of each other, and I've obviously named them as well. All right, so what we're going to do here, now that we've got all our Photoshop files here, we're going to just copy everything, and we're just going to go Edit, Copy, and then we're going to go New Composition, and we're going to go to, we're going to make this. Uh, 20, we're going to make this 12 frames a second because I do like that 12 frames a second look and we're going to make this like 15 seconds. Zero, zero. All right. Character. Lip sync. All right. Here we go. Now let's paste all our stuff in here. Now, as you can see, it doesn't fit because um, I've actually made my artwork at two times the size of HD. So that's 3840 by 2160. And what we're going to do here is we're going to right, we're going to select everything. So then I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to hold on the first one, then hold shift and then hold the last one. And then I'm going to go transform and we're going to go to fit to comp. And as you can see, it's, I look so Asian. Um, <laughs> by the way, I am Asian. So, uh, so here we go. We're going to, um, we're just going to turn these off for a second and we're just going to put the blink for a second too. Um, I'm going to build the arm first, so let's do that. And so with the hand, I'm just going to turn off one of these layers so we can see which one. We're just going to solo this one so that one's the one visible. 
and we're going to find the anchor point, which is right here. And we're going to press Y or the pan behind tool, which is up there. Drag this anchor point and put it around here. And we're going to test it out a little bit, see if it kind of breaks. And it's not bad. I think that's very, very fine. I mean, you're not going to really have a hand that goes that way, but you could always change it if you need to. So, and we're going to parent that to the arm here so that when the arm does move, um, you know, this moves with it. All right, let's set up a null for the arm itself. So let's right click in the blank space here and go new null object. And we're just going to drag this null object to pretend like this, the elbow is somewhere around here, around the bottom of the screen. We're just going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to drag around. And we'll just grab the arm. So I'm going to switch it to the layer name, arm, and then drag out to there. So now we've got a little bit of a, you know, hey, everybody. Hi. Hi, mom. All right. You get the idea. So we're going to pull that down because that is ridiculously high for somebody's arm. Um, and we're just going to leave that there as it is. And then with that, we've, that's the arm done. All right. We're going to move this mouse shape down to just below everything else. So we'll keep that separate and we'll make a new null as well. And we'll call this the master control. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make this a bit bigger. I'm going to make it around 200%. I just like big nulls because that means I can grab them easily. So uh, what we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to grab all these things. So all these items, well, actually we have to name this. We'll call this the arm null or arm control. And let's call this the master car control. All right. And we'll drag all this and we'll parent it to this. Actually, let's, let's parent these to this, to the face. And we'll parent that to the master control. And then we'll also parent the arm control to that. All right. Which will become apparent later. Let's move the arm. Let's actually move the master control. Cause that will obviously move everything as we need it. All right. And, um, just cause I already know. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Um, actually, no, we'll leave that as it is. We'll come back to that in a second. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up the expressions so that we can actually switch between the different, um, different mouse shapes. So I'll just show in the example here, I've actually set this up already, obviously. Um, and what I have here is I have a menu, uh, an effect called drop down menu. And you can actually switch between the different mouth shapes here. And that's very easy to do. So let's set that up um, right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, if I can go to my project, where the heck did I put it? Here we go, lip sync, character lip sync. All right, so we're going to go to the mouth shape. Um, we're going we're gonna to put an expression, we're going to put a, an effect on it called the drop down menu expression. So here it is. I'm just going to drag that onto this mouth shape comp. And now we're going to double click on, I'm just going to get rid of these guys because this is going to be super confusing because I've already done this guy. I've already done this guy once. All right, here we go. So we're going to double click in here and we're just going to drag this. We're going to undock it. So it gets purple here and then we're going to try and dock it to the bottom here. All right. So here we go. And as you can see, we can see all of this and we can also see this mouse shape comp in the, in the comp above. So we're going to twirl down until we get, we can see this menu stopwatch here. All right. So here's where the magic's going to happen. So first we're going to twirl down to the opacity. So press T to get the opacity up and we're going to alt click on the stopwatch here to get the expressions menu coming up. Now don't freak out. It's really, really easy. So what we're going to do first, and I'm trying to explain this along the way. We're going to create this thing called a variable. Basically, it's just an object that After Effects understands as being something it can call on later. So, but all you have to do is look at this menu. We're just going to type the word menu. It doesn't have to be any particular case, not particular menu. What do you want to call it? Call it M if you want. We're going to call it menu equals. It doesn't have to be a space. It can just be whatever, but I like, you know, I like making sure the programming looks good. We're going to take this pick whip and we're going to make it equal to the menu up here. And it'll just give you a whole bunch of code here. And then we're just going to close it with a semicolon and then press enter. Right. So nothing happened, which is fine because we don't need anything to happen right now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to the mouse shape menu and you see how there I've already named all these things. Smile, W, F, T, H, U, E, 
I smile neutral or aid. I call it a A I D is what it was supposed to be. So what you can do up here is you can actually fashion what the bun buttons are going to be. So we're going to go to edit in this drop down menu and I'll pull down this drop down menu box, which is very nice. And we can rename everything and add all the items that we would like. So I'm just going to do that right now. All right, so you can see that I've named objects, and you have to remember the order of these things. So I've actually corresponded these to exactly where the order is from one to nine in the mouth comp. One to nine here is exactly what this is. So just keep that in mind when you are doing this. So smile T, W, F, T, H, U, E, D, A, D, I, smile close and neutral and the mm sound are in number nine. So we're just gonna press okay. Now what's great about that is, we can, now that we've already got this set up, so menu equals this menu here. So that's but all we set up so far. Now let's do a little bit of programming. We're gonna do a little bit of if else programming. Now this is super easy. Basically what we're gonna say is if the variable menu, which is this, this up here, is equal to the first item, then we're gonna set the opacity to 100. And then we're gonna close that with a semicolon or else, or we put the word else, or else, we'll make it zero, which means that if it's not, sorry, zero. I'm gonna press semicolon, I don't know why I press colon. I mean, what do you call it, quotation marks, and then we'll close it off. So what that means is that if the menu, if, if, this, if this layer sees that the menu is going to, is going to item one, which happens to be, as we saw, small t, then it'll actually come through and show it as 100% in the opacity. Otherwise, it'll just say zero, uh, which means that it's not visible at all. And those are the only two, uh, what do you call, states that it can be in. Uh, it can't be anything else. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do exactly the same for everything else, and that's not too hard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the opacity and we're gonna go copy expression only. Then we're going to select all these and go and paste it. So we're gonna go and paste. Now, yeah, it doesn't look like anything happened, but the the expression has, the exact same expression has been pasted across all these. Now, the problem here is that, now we're gonna press E to get the expression up. The problem here is, press, sorry, double E to get the expression up. Um, the problem here is that they're all set to one. So what we have to do, unfortunately, is the tedious process of going through and actually renumbering each of those expressions. So I'm gonna press the tilde key, which is next to the one on your keyboard, and we're gonna pull this up full screen. And we're just gonna change all these to the second, um, so the corresponding layer. So press, and just do that again, EE. Three, and I'm gonna do this the rest of them. All right, we're all done. So as you can see here, all I changed was the number in the menu of what it equals to. So basically saying, if it's if it's the menu item one, it picks this layer. If it's menu item number two, it picks this layer and so on and so on and so on until we get to layer number nine. Now here's where the magic comes in. So if we're, we're just gonna close this, this comp now and bring this back down just so you can see what's happening. So now we have a fully functioning uh, menu system here. And what's cool about this is that it is all keyframeable. So as you can see here, we can just easily pick the different shapes that we like, and we can animate those shapes as well. So we can actually flip between the two. As you can see, it just jumps between the two shapes, which is what we want. So that's great. Um, this mouth is looking a little bit anime-esque. I think it's a little bit too big for our character. So I'm just gonna shrink it down. I mean, you might like that. Maybe you are a little bit of a weeb. So that's fine. But I just I just think for, we're gonna go for something a little bit more tasteful. <laughs> I love anime, don't get me wrong. But um, we're just gonna dial that down just a touch. And uh, yeah, we can basically see that that is already set up, which is fantastic. All right, now let's go turn the blinks off because I actually wanna see this guy's eyes. Now let's do exactly the same thing with the hand. And um, as you can imagine, what we're gonna do is we drop the, do the drop down menu on it. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the hand. We're gonna double click on it. We're gonna bring it in here and we're just gonna do, I'm gonna bring the, the drop down menu here and we're just going to, I'm gonna turn this all back on. And again, just gonna, I'm just gonna do the same programming that I did before. So menu, 
equals this. Turn it up, uh, press enter. We're gonna press edit and we're gonna go, uh, this is the point. This is the palm down. This is the open hand. And we're gonna go, if menu, oops, we're gonna make sure the bracket, we have the brackets. If menu equals um, one, we'll go 100. Oops, 100, else zero. All right, and then we'll just copy that. Oops, we'll go copy, expression only, paste it. I press Control V or uh, Command V if you wanted to get that up. I'm gonna press EE again. Again, we'll just change this to two. And we'll get EE for this one. And change this to three. Yeah, three, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, come on, stop being janky. After Effects, don't be janky, please. The jank. All right, there we go. So, and as you can see, we've got everything set up so that the way that we need it, which is fantastic. All right, we're gonna close that down. And so now we have our character. Um, all right, now let's get to the lip syncing. So lip syncing is a bit of an annoying thing. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a little bit tedious, especially if you have a lot of dialogue. So I'm just gonna show you a very short, short track that I recorded before. Um, I'm actually just gonna pull the track that I did from before. I'm not gonna edit it for you, but it is pretty straightforward. Now I'm just gonna grab the audio from this bad boy and put it in here. All right, uh, let's see. Where's my lip sync example? Here we go. Let's put it down here. Um, I just know this is a very short clip. I did actually plan this out. I actually wrote this out in a Word document here. Hey guys, I'm gonna, today I'm gonna show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects, just so that I can kind of see exactly what words I have to look at. So, um, it does help to kind of write it out so you kind of know what what sounds need to be made. So obviously, hey, uh, I'm looking at the E mostly in this. Hey guys. Make sure you got to get the S sound in there today. So, and it does help actually. One of the things that I was told while doing animation was that you should have a little mirror or just something that you can see your mouth shape with um, to figure out what kind of shape your mouth actually makes when you uh, do these particular sounds. It does help. Um, one trick was to put your thumb and your index finger at the corner of your lips to kind of see how, why, where it is on your face basically to help you understand as well. So that's one thing you could do. Um, but there are, you know, the more you do it, uh, doing lip syncing is one of those things, the more you do it, the more, the easier it gets. It definitely gets easier every time, but it does take a little bit of practice. So right now you can kind of see here, um, I'm just gonna play a little bit here. So obviously this is the clip we had before. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. All right, so, so before I even start talking, I need to make sure that we have a closed mouth shape. So I'm gonna add a stopwatch here. Um, we're gonna go right to the very beginning and we're just gonna make it a smile closed. So, hey, we're gonna start with an E because it's sort of a E sound for the hey. And so how I'm scrubbing this through is you hold down the in, um, in, in on on a Mac, it's command. I presume it's a control. I'm assuming it's control to get yourself. If you hold it down, you can actually start scrubbing through the audio. It's not bad. Um, it's not the worst way to do it. This is how I do typography as well for anybody interested. And I'll do, um, I'm gonna do a um, a tutorial on uh, Ulufemi's channel, Josh's channel later to show you how to do that stuff. But yeah, so he basically hold down uh, command to basically scrub through the audio so you can hear it. Guys, so g, the g sound would be the, I guess it would be, hey, g, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat it and use the a smile. Hey, guys, and we're gonna get this s sound in there, which is more like an e sound. Hey, guys, and then we're gonna drop it down to a closed smile. Hey, guys. And the T smile is like an E sound again. Again, like I was saying. Oh, it could be, we could use this T. 
today we're going to use two you would put i would i would normally say you put the o sound in there but it's uh it's so quick so i usually just go two day and we're going to go straight to the a the bigger sound is what i'm trying to go for. i'm so we need to put a little m in there and then go i'm um, here we go that's why i was in today i'm gonna so the R is, I'm cheating a little bit here. You can kind of do it as, this is where it comes with a little bit of experience. Nah, with an E. Gonna show, so. Uh, oops, I think this needs to be a neutral. Show. I'm gonna show. How is like more of an ah sound? How? How to? How to? To? Ah? Let's see how we're going so far. This might be tragic, but we'll see how we go. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to. Add. Hey guys. Yeah, it's look. It's not looking too bad. Like, like I said, it doesn't have to be one hundred percent perfect, but you kind of get the idea. And like I said, you know, the, it, it's very easy to kind of set this up. So once I'm gonna let you guys do it yourself, because I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna subject you to guys to basically watch me do this. But um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that you guys are gonna get this and just animate this yourself. Um, have a go. It's actually not that bad. It's actually. Hey guys. Today I'm going to show you how to animate. It just takes a little bit of time. Just like I said, grab a mirror um, or just just sort of ma like have a look at your shapes that your mouth makes and see if you can figure out how to do it. You're not going to nail it the first time, but it does get easier every time you do it. So have a go. Um, I'm just going to cut and paste basically what I had from the previous one so you can uh, so we can just move on to the next part of the tutorial. All right, now that you've done the lip syncing, um, let's get a move on to the hands. And so let's do the arm. So he says hi, right? Is this. So if we just have the playback on. Nice. All right. So let's have the arm move in as it comes in. So I'm going to actually start and press R for rotation. And we're just going to move his hand out. So remember how we set it up down here like an elbow. So I'm just going to, now that we're just going to have it animate in. Hey guys. I can come in a little bit quicker. I'm gonna press F9, easy ease that in. Hey guys. Hey guys. Now we're gonna just switch up the hands a little bit too. So we're on the, the open hand um, and we're just gonna click the stopwatch. Hey guys. And on today we're gonna to go palm down. Guys, today I'm gonna show. Today I'm gonna to show you. How to and he's gonna say this shape. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to animate this. I'm gonna show you how to animate, animate this mouth. This, this mouth. So he's gonna to point to his mouth. Today I'm gonna to show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. And then we're gonna go back to going open hands. Today I'm gonna to show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. All right. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to. So today he's gonna. So he goes, hey guys, today he has an open, he has his palm up. Today I'm going to show you how to animate this. And now we're going to actually animate him uh, moving his hand, like moving his hands towards his mouth. So we're going to prick a rotation, put a rotation keyframe around, just around there. And then as he says, his mouth, well, I know that he points at that. That's where he says this mouth. We're going to rotate it towards his hand like this. So it's going to be. I'm going to show you how to animate this mouth in After. A little bit faster than that doesn't look very good. To animate this mouth in After Effects. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just duplicate this frame and put it here. And before that, oh, actually we're going to put it around here, and then we're going to go. We're going to rotate it back that way. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. All right, now what I'm going to do is put a little bit of a bounce on his hand. So I'll just, it's a bit more obvious here. I'm going to press the P position 
and shift P to bring up the P, the position. I'm going to put one frame there and one frame here at the end and in between, right? Somewhere in between, I'm going to do a little bit of a bounce there. They're not very even. Actually, I like it better when it's a bit even, more even in frame numbers. It's annoying when you've got 12 keyframes to work with. Sometimes you can't quite get in the middle. Animate this mouth, you know. I don't like that either. Let's move that a little bit closer. There we go. Animate this mouth in After Today I'm going to show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Okay, so we're going to do that on all the every time the hand moves. After Effects. Stick around. All right, let's do that. Hey so we'll guys, put a bounce. Today I'm going to show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. Hey guys. Today I'm going to show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. Okay, and to kind of add a bit more flavor to it, we're going to put a bounce on the actual character itself. So every time he does, every time he says a, a around the same points that we had here, we're going to put a little bit of bounce on our character as well. So again, we select this part, and then we select this part, and then we put a little bit of a bounce keyframe underneath as well. And we're going to ease those, press F9. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to animate. So we're going to copy those and put it here. Animate this mouth in After Effects. Effects. Stick After Effects. Stick I'm going to put, I'm going to actually move these keyframes. So he says all this movement happens after he says stick around. So. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. Hey guys. Yeah, I think that's acceptable. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. Hey. I just don't like how his hand comes in a bit late there. So I actually want it to come in as he says stick around. Animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. Hey yeah, guys, that's better. today I'm going to show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. It's really odd listening to yourself over and over again. Sound like a moron. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some blinks in as well. Oh, sorry, before we even do that, um, I just want to add a little bit more to kind of get a little bit more bounce out of hey him. Guys, today a bit I'm more gonna... variation out of him. Um, I'm going to basically yeah. add... I'm going to turn off my sound because I just hate hearing myself. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of a bounce to him. So I'm going to turn the, I'm going to actually rotate him a little bit. So if I can press U to bring up all the keyframes, you can kind of see the positioning. So it's a bit easier to see. I'm going to have him spin on his axis. Just, just sort of like tilt a little bit that way. I'm going to press F9 again. Actually, let's make him rotate into, yeah, that's probably better that way. I actually like that better. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to, copy this and paste it there and we're going to reverse the animation basically so I copied that one so this this is just this is a mirror of this so that's all that is so he rotates one way and then he rotates back the other way there we go that's not too bad so hi everybody blah 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 da, 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 look at my mouth and then goodbye all right um now we as I was saying I didn't I was kind of alluding this before but we've got this problem here where you know He's getting cut off here. I don't want that. So, you know, you could move it down and obviously that should fix that keyframe, but that's not what I want because that'll mess up everything else. And it kind of isn't proportionally going the same way as everything else. And that's not what I want. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all the keyframes here and we're just going to hold shift and drag everything down, drag everything down. There we go. So that covers up and that should fix that issue. It's a little bit low on the frame, but at least we don't have to worry about his chest disappearing. So there we go. All right, now we're going to animate the blinks. So we're going to turn the blinks on. Um, this is parented to the face, so that's as we did before. It, it should stick to the face. If it's not, then it's obviously not parented to the face. So um, this is pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to press T to bring out the opacity. We're going to make it zero. And we're going to set a keyframe here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to right click on this keyframe and go toggle hold keyframe. And for you, for people who don't know, toggle a, a hold keyframe basically just means that it won't change value until the next keyframe. Um, because it won't try and interpolate anything between the first and the second keyframe. So what I mean is that if now when I do set a new keyframe, like a hundred, which is what I want, 
there's no there's no change there's no transition between a zero and a hundred it's just either it's 100 or it's it's either it's going to stay 100 until it gets to the next keyframe which is sorry it's going to stay zero until it gets to the next keyframe which happens to be 100. now you could set this to toggle hold keyframe so that it still goes back to a regular keyframe but what it means is that it just holds the value of that keyframe until it finds another keyframe that is probably the best explanation so we're going to copy this la this first keyframe and make it go back to zero so it just blinks so there we go i blinked me i suppose it's not really me this is more like a younger me when i was much younger and prettier and didn't have glasses and so i like to blink on the on the moves generally it's i like to keep movements in sync um and so there we go uh you could i mean you could easily put another set of blinks in so copy i could put a double link in i guess We'll make this, so it looks like he, du he double blinks in this one. All right, so let's have a look at this in its, its entirety. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to animate this mouth in After Effects. Stick around. That's enough hearing for me. All right, so that's cool. Now that's pretty much it. If you wanna leave it there, you can totally leave it there, but there is one little section and that I want to get into, and that is putting the boil. I don't know if you can kind of see it. So there's, I want to put the boil basically on this, uh, on the line. So you can kind of see the edges are kind of moving slightly. Um, it's just a little trick to kind of just give static stuff a little bit more movement. So to do that, um, what you have to do is just basically create a new comp and uh, you'll you'll need to make a new comp for a, this thing called a fractal. All right, it's not a big deal. You probably have done this before. I'm gonna make this 25. 10, 9, 1920 by 1080. Um, we'll make it like five seconds. It doesn't really have to be that long. And it just has to be enough in there to make a difference. All right, you'll see what I'm saying. I don't know why I'm telling you this now. You don't know what I'm talking about. All right, new solid. We'll just make, it doesn't matter what color it is. Now let's go to the uh, panel and we're gonna look up fractal noise. It's a favorite of Andrew Kramer's. Now we're gonna change this to basic, which it already is. Um, and we're just going to make this linear. Actually, no, I think, no, soft linear. I think I figured out soft linear was the one I wanted. I'm just going to make the contrast just go up just a touch. Just going to double check this with the evolution. Yeah, I think that works. And I think that is all we need to change. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure it was just basic. It's always, I always forget what I did. I literally just did it like a second ago. I've got a memory of a goldfish. All right, we're just gonna turn the contrast up just a lot. So you can see a lot of black and white areas. So it's very obvious. Um, now the evolution effectively for this is essentially what moves the fractal, which is really beautiful. And so it can come in very handy. So, but we're gonna put an expression on it because we love expressions. So we're gonna come down here because it's a bit easier to see. Um, I'm going to turn on the fractal noise filter. Oh, sorry, the filter. Yeah, the filter. Effect filter. Yeah, it is a filter. What am I talking about? I'm going to alt click the stopwatch and we're going to type in a new um, expression for us here. We're going to go random and we're going to go from zero. Um, you know what? We could probably go from, we can go from, yeah, let's go from zero to, you know, 10. What's a, what's a more? I don't know. I'm just going to make 1080. It's, it's just a very big number. So what this means is that it just randomly picks a number between zero and 1080 in the in the evolution field. So as you see, it just randomly moves through different numbers. It just it picks them one at random, which is what we want. We want it to be fairly random. And now this doesn't look like very much, but it's pretty easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna render that out and we're gonna come back. Okay, so once you've rend rendered that out, just import it back in and we're gonna interpret the footage. I've actually done this already, but just so you understand, it would probably come in at, the, the frame would probably come in at 24 or 25, whatever you decide to render it at, but let's conform the uh, rate to eight. And we're gonna loop it here to 100 times. So make sure you type in 100 and then press okay. Now, we're gonna go back to our lip sync example and we're gonna drag that on. Great, that looks amazing. Um, but Nick, how does this make the edges change? Well, I'm getting to that. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to right click and make a new adjustment layer. And we're gonna put that just below this. And we're going to put a filter on called displacement map. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the, we're gonna set the horizontal displacement and the vertical displacement to luminance. 
And then we're going to set the displacement map layer to fractal, random, whatever you decide to call it, the fractal that we just had before. Now, as you can see here, we put it on there and it's very, very wobbly. It looks cool, but it's very, very wobbly. It's too much. I actually think it's too much. So we're going to dial it back to two. It's just a subtle, little, little subtle. It's the subtle things that we do. And that's it. Look at that. You've just made yourself a lip synced animation with a little bit of a boil on it. You know, you now you know how to make, uh, uh, now you know how to make menus that can jump in and out of uh, particular objects. It's really useful for certain things. Like if you need to switch objects up, I mean, you can do that with full faces basically. Um, you know, you can switch people's faces up or, you know, put glasses on them and have not have them have glasses. This menu system is pretty, pretty deep. And, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to use it for definitely for upcoming tutorials to kind of show how far we can go with it. Well, guys, I hope this has been helpful. You can go check out some tutorial, other tutorials that I've also done on my mate Josh's page, uh, Ulla Femi. Um, some great tutorials there about a lot of other things besides just me, but I just, uh, I'm doing tutorials there as well. If you want to go check those out and I'll see you guys next time.